Hello my teacher, welcome to my video, welcome to my trick. Today I'm going to play a perform a magic trick. I don't know if the trick has a name or not, but I, I rather prefer to call it the performer. So let's move on to the game. Trick, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello yes, I'm in. Welcome. Today we are going to play a magic trick. Are we ready? <laughs> so I want you to pick a number from one to ten. Okay, it's eight. Eight, okay. So I'm going to show you how you should count the cards. Okay? And watch me carefully. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Like this. Uh, can you count for me the cards? One, two, two three, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. This is your card, right? Yeah. So I want you to look to your cards and show the camera. Do not show me. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, so I'm trying to guess your cards. Uh, does your cards have the color of red? Yeah. The number of four? Yeah, that's right. So is your cards four diamonds? Yeah. It's red. Okay, can you show the camera? <laughs> so, this is it. This is how you do it. This is the trick. So, as you may have seen it before, or as you may have known before, the most important, the major thing in this trick is the action. The action that you prefer. Always experience like, to your students or to your friend, and always like, I'm going to read your mind. So, this is it. And the main point and the major point in this trick is to know the top card of the deck. Uh, then show to your friends or your students how the cards should be counted. Let's say five. Uh, like, uh, do not forget the top cards. One, two, three, four, five. This is really important. This is really vital because uh, you must put, put those cards to the deck without them noticing, without them failing. If you get caught, you cannot know or guess the cards uh, and you will lose the top card of the deck. It's really important. Then give the deck to your friend or your students, have them count, have them count the deck. Like one, two, three, four, five and the fifth card will be the top card of the deck and will be their cards and you will always know uh, the card they choose and you cannot fail this is really simple this is really easy and for English teaching for young learners uh, we can use this trick as uh, for teaching numbers from 1 to 10 50 to 20 30 doesn't matter or you can teach ordinal numbers which card is, is this yours first card second card for third card fourth card fifth card doesn't matter you can teach them or if you want to memorize them a word, a group of words, you can use this trick. For example, uh, you cannot you can put uh, you can switch these cards with animals, with vegetables, with fruits, or with anything, any type of word that you want. For example, uh, which card, which animal is your card? Is it horse? Is it cat or is this your is your card strawberry or cucumber? Doesn't matter. It's, it is really fun to use in English teaching to young learners. They will love it, as I said before. Uh, so this is the end. This is it. Uh, this is the end of my video and end of my trick. Thank you for watching my video and thank you for the time for this video. Uh, so I wish you the best. Goodbye.